moved on to the homestead and haven't yet disinfected the well. Uh, the well has been sitting for four years unused with a one inch plug on the top of the well uh, that's open. Gives plenty of opportunity for mice and snakes to work their way into the well and contaminate the well with coliform bacteria. That can make a person sick. I don't want my family sick, so we're going to go ahead and disinfect the well. Uh, follow along as we do this. We'll kind of go step by step. So the first thing we'll do here to disinfect our well is we'll get about a half a bucket of water. This uh, five gallon bucket, we'll get about a half a bucket of water to dilute the uh, bleach in. All right, that ought to be about enough. So now that we have our half bucket of water, then we'll go ahead and put a gallon of bleach in there and then go ahead and pour it down the well. Okay, now that we have a couple gallons of water in the bucket here, we'll pour in our household bleach, a standard 5% standard solution. We want to dilute it some more. The standard 5% solution is a little bit harsh, a little corrosive. So we want to make sure that we dilute it a little more so we don't do some damage. Also, make sure to wear your safety glasses and your gloves. This stuff's nasty. Even though it's just household bleach, it can still do you a little bit of damage and you sure don't want it in your eyes. Now, as you can see, this is not a re removable cap on the well. It's a pretty stationary cap, but it does have the uh, one inch plug in it. So we're going to use that to pour our hypochlorite down, our bleach. So we're going to use a funnel to make sure that we can actually get the uh, bleach down in there and not have a problem with spilling too much of it all over. We really don't want to spill that everywhere. So I'm just going to put a funnel on here and kind of wire it up to make sure it'll stay where it's supposed to be. Nothing fancy. Just want to make sure it stays, that's all. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start pouring our bleach solution down into the well. Again folks, make sure we don't spill it, don't splash it on yourselves, take your time. And that's that. So we have a one gallon of bleach down the well. That's starting to disinfect now next thing we'll do is we'll run the garden hose in and we'll uh, run the garden hose for a while down here to number one clean the funnel out also to mix the water down inside the well casing so it all gets disinfected then we'll let it sit for se several hours five or six hours um, we'll pump some of the water through the garden hose through all of our faucets to make sure everything in the pipes is all disinfected after we let it sit We'll run it all until the bleach is all gone, so we don't have any more chlorine. We'll test it to be sure with a chlorine test kit. Just a simple swimming pool test kit will take care of the pro take care of that testing. All right, now we'll just uh, run this water down here and circulate the water throughout the well. That runs up through the well, through the pump, through all the pipes, so the chlorine gets everything and disinfects the whole entire system. We'll run a little water out of each faucet and each hose uh, each hose bib until we get a little chlorine coming through and then we'll not let it sit for a while we know that way for sure that it's all being disinfected properly after we get done circulating all the water through the well and through the pipes and everything and letting it disinfect for several hours then we'll discharge all the water to waste but we'll have to be careful and make sure it's a place where we can actually discharge the chlorinated water to because the chlorine will kill things so we still don't want to get that on our hands our clothes where animals will be pets where the wildlife can get to it or anything like that so we'll be careful about that we'll get it all done and we'll show you more progress as we go all right let's start running some water through the uh, system here and i'm going to put my glasses on just to make sure we don't get any splashes because when the chlorine starts coming through it'll be pretty strong i really don't want to get it in my eyes We're going to start testing this to see when the water does come through, when the chlorine starts coming through.
so nothing yet. So we'll let it run a bit longer and check it again in a few minutes. Okay, it's been a couple minutes of running the water. We're going to check it again and see if we have chlorine through here yet. Okay, that shows strong chlorine. Don't want to get that on your hands. Okay, we have that one done. Now we're going to go inside the house and run water through the faucets inside the house to make sure the water system in the trailer is disinfected also. Wouldn't do any good to disinfect the well and have uh, coliform bacteria inside the lines in the house. All right, folks, we're inside the trailer, such as it is, and first I'm going to rinse out the uh, uh, tester to make sure that it's clean of chlorine from our last test. We'll double check it. We don't really want a false positive and only think that we're doing a good job. Okay, see no chlorine in there at all right now. So we'll run the water through in here for a little bit and we'll test it again. Okay, it's been running a few minutes in here. We're going to give it a check. No need to run that one any further either, folks. That's a lot of chlorine. Sure don't want to get that on you. If you we'll don't go through to. and we'll do the same exact thing uh, for all the faucets in the house. Make sure that everything is chlorinated properly. Then we'll go ahead and run it through and discharge it until it's clean. Sometimes that takes quite a while, but it's really what we need to do. After that, we'll have good, safe, clean drinking water. Also, just to emphasize the importance of this, keep testing your water. <clears throat> also, just to emphasize, just start over. Also, just to emphasize the importance of this, keep testing your water to make sure that the chlorine is run out of your lines. You don't want to be drinking strong chlorine. Uh, typically, what's considered safe is one part per million or less chlorine in the drinking water. Uh, a lot of people don't feel comfortable even with that. So make sure you keep testing. Make sure that the chlorine tests for a uh, very, very low uh, chlorine residual in your water. Or none, that's even better. All right, so we've shown you how we disinfect the well. We went step by step. Uh, if you have any questions on disinfecting your own well, please feel free to ask me in the comments. I'll do everything I can to help you. At the same time, uh, that's something you have to do at your own risk. If you're not sure how to do it, you might want to hire a, um, a well company to come out and disinfect your well for you if you believe there's a reason. Also, if you are not sure, you can uh, have a sample of your well water tested at a uh, laboratory. Usually it's not very expensive. Uh, good idea to do it. So. Anyway, we have our well disinfected. The, we have run all the chlorine out of it. We have good fresh water now. Great. We don't have to haul bottled water anymore. Looking forward to that. See you later, folks.